In this video, I'm going to show you how to use transitions in Camtasia 2021 to create these cool text topography effects using zero animations. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Welcome, everybody, to the Tuesday evening screencast video coaching call. My name is Lon Naylor. I'll be your host tonight. Here I got a little segment called Camtasia 21 Transitions for text animations, right? So here's kind of the scoop. In Camtasia 2021, we have all kinds of brand new transition effects. Well, those are all fun and good for putting in between video clips and that kind of stuff. But the other thing that we can use them for is for text. And traditionally, behaviors have been our go-to tool for doing text animations, right? They have some nice little features. Let's jump over to behaviors real quick for a second. This is how we traditionally animate text in Camtasia. And you can do some pretty good damage, you know, with text effects and typography and things like that using behaviors. But as we probably all know, you know, you got to you gotta monkey around with them a little bit, right? So let's just add this one to this text box right here. And you got all this stuff here. And you got a during animation and an out animation. And having all these options and stuff is powerful. But sometimes I just want to create me some good old-fashioned simple animations or text effects. So here I created a little bit of a sample of some kinetic topography right that I did zero animations for so I'm gonna let this roll for a second in this video I'm gonna show you how to use transitions in Camtasia 2021 to create these cool text topography effects using zero animations <laughs> let's get started okay so essentially what I've done there is I'll just pick this apart just a brief little bit I recorded a narration track. That's the basis for my kinetic topography, right? The kinetic topography is basically text that is going to follow the narration, follow the words that are coming out of my mouth. And that's literally all this is, a bunch of text boxes. And then I've added some of the cooler transition effects that basically make stuff move right it's not rocket science but it is also not animation I animated nothing in this video clip right all I did was I dropped transitions in and this is the kind of action that you can end up with okay so that's cool that's fun I like it and we can use transitions for text animations and they're much simpler than using behaviors okay now the punchline here is that not all transitions work well if you want to use them as text effects, right? And the reason I know that is because I've tested them, all of them, okay? Now I found about 48 that I think are pretty good, pretty good transitions that work as text animations. And I'm also going to kind of give you my sweet 16 personal favorites, the ones that have the most dynamic visual impact, the most bang for the buck, so to speak. So here are those 48 animations, all in alphabetical order. And you'll find these in your transitions tab. Okay, if you stay on all, I basically picked out the 48 of the, I don't know, 120 some effects that work the best and some of them like I mentioned just don't work very well because they don't do much to the text there's no real visual impact there so what I did was I put together a little cheat sheet for you and let me grab a link to this I saved this out as a PDF so here's a transition cheat sheet for you where I list out those 48 that I think work the best that's all fun and then my top 16 ones that I think are the coolest and have the most visual impact. In fact, I think these are the ones that I used in the little demo video to kind of get you going. And some of them are just pretty darn sweet. sweet. And 
And let me give you just a couple of other tips and tricks here. Let's go take a look at some of those that I tested. I also put together just a demo reel of all of these kind of together. So it shows the name of the transition. I'll just let this run for a second. Okay, and it shows, you know, the various uh, transitions. And let me see here. Let's take a look at maybe another little tip or trick. One other thing to be aware of is that if you just drop a transition in here and apply it to both ends of your text, the way it exits might have some variety to it if you be aware that you can reverse a transition. Okay, so here, let's do this. Let's highlight just this simple single animation. I don't know if this is going to be a good demo or not. Let's try it. Okay, and then on the second, on the out, let's reverse it. See, sometimes it changes the effect. Well, reversing it didn't really look all that good, right? Let's try it again. And in this case, what I did was I reversed the entrance one. Let's turn that off. Okay, see? See that? The transitions work differently depending upon if they're reversed or not. So, well, this is the simple zoom transition, but I don't know. It just didn't zoom very well, right? But all I had to do was reverse this guy at the beginning, and boom. Now I've got something that kind of zooms in and zooms out. Okay, so sometimes you want to play with this ability to reverse them. And then the tip that I use for that, I think I've told you this before, I'm going to highlight this. And then I'm going to make a change. I'll make a change. And if I hit play or the space bar, okay, I'm going to be able to see just what that does. Boom, boom. Make a change. Boom, boom. If you didn't highlight this, what's going to happen? Okay, well, I want to preview this. I'll hit the play button. Okay, and now I got to stop it. Now I got to put the playhead back at the beginning. I got to make a change, and I got to, you know, play it again. If you highlight stuff, you can do a quick preview and, you know, switch back and forth your brains out. And you can also pick different transitions here and just kind of see what happens. Let's try a spin flip. Oh, okay. So maybe that's an effect. Okay, but you don't have to necessarily go all the way to the, the bin here when you're trying to find and decide which transitions you might want to use as special effects. Okay, so that's just a couple little tips there. Okay, any questions on that?